Does your mom or dad ever let you do jobs for them around the house? Taking out the trash or picking up sticks in the yard, cleaning your bedroom. Well, our story today is about a little boy named Joey and he wanted a job and he tried some different things. So let's see Joey's adventures in looking for a job to do. This book was written by Louise Monroe Foley and illustrated by Bernard Brett. A job for Joey. It was Saturday afternoon. Joey Benton was watching his neighbor, Mr. Murphy, working in the garden. The Murphys lived next door to the Bentons. What are you doing? asked Joey. Oh, I'm weeding the carrots, said Mr. Murray. Murphy. He was down on his hands and knees, pulling things out of the ground. How can you tell the carrots from the weeds? Joey asked. Carrots look like this, Mr. Murphy said, and weeds look like this. Can I help? asked Joey. He looked at another plant in another row. That doesn't look like a carrot. It must be a weed. Can I pull it? Oh no, cried Mr. Murphy. That's an onion. An onion, Joey yelled. How can you tell? Two ways, said Mr. Murphy, smiling. It looks like an onion, and that's where I planted the onions. Well, I guess I can't help, Joey said sadly. I don't know a carrot from an onion from a weed. How can you tell where you planted everything? Because I had a layout, a plan for my garden, Mr. Murphy explained. Come and look. He walked to the edge of the garden. There was a little stick at the end of each row. Each little stick had an envelope on it, and on each envelope there was some writing and a picture. This helps me remember, said Mr. Murphy. Those are the packages the seeds came in. Joey looked at the empty packages. There was a carrot picture on the carrot row, an onion picture on the onion row, a lettuce picture on the lettuce row. Don't you plant anything good? Joey asked. Mr. Murphy laughed. <laughs> What's the matter with vegetables? He asked. They're not fun to eat, said Joey. Are strawberries fun to eat? Mr. Murphy asked. Joey nodded. He handed Joey a pail of bright red berries. Help yourself, he said. I just picked these, and if you want to help some more, you can take the rest to Mrs. Murphy. Okay, grinned Joey. He carried the berries into the kitchen. Mrs. Murphy was making strawberry jam. Mmm, said Joey. It smells good. Can I help? You can hand me that recipe book, said Mrs. Murphy, smiling. Joey handed her the book. He looked at the page she was reading. What does it say, he asked. It tells you what to put in the jam, she said. Oh, giggled Joey, it's a jam plan. Mrs. Murphy nodded. Would you like to take a jar of jam to your mother? mother? Yes, said Joey, thanks. Joey took the jam and ran through the backyard to his house. He could hear the whirr of the sewing machine. Hey, Mom, he yelled, look what Mrs. Murphy gave us. How nice of her, said Mrs. Benton. What are you doing, Joey asked. Making a dress, explained her mother, his mother. 
Joey looked at the kitchen table. There were papers spread all over it. A paper dress, he asked. No, silly, said Mrs. Benton. The papers are the pattern, the plan. They tell me how to cut the material. Can I help, asked Joey. You can help me pick up the piece pins I dropped, said his mother. Okay, said Joey, but I wish I had a real job, a job with a plan. After Joey had picked up the pins, he went to find his dad. Mr. Benton was in the garage. Hi, Dad, said Joey. What are you making? A birdhouse, explained his father. Would you please hand me that piece of wood? Joey picked up a piece of wood. Not that one, said his father. The one next to it. Joey handed his father the wood. Bang, 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 went the hammer. How did you know which piece of wood you needed, Joey asked. It tells me on this blueprint, said his father. Mr. Benton showed Joey a piece of paper with drawing on it. Blueprint, said Joey, that's a funny name. Is that another name for a plan? That's right, Mr. Benton smiled. How did you know that? Because, said Joey, that's all I've heard all day. Layouts for gardens, recipes for jam, patterns for dresses, and blueprints for birdhouses. And they're really all plans. Joey leaned up against the workbench. I wish I had a job with a plan, he said. Just then, a car door slammed. I wonder who that is, said Mr. Benton. Joey ran to the garage door. It's the Novaks, he yelled. Mr. and Mrs. Novak were friends of the Bentons. Hi, Joey, called Mrs. Novak. She was carrying Scratchy, her big gray cat. Where is everybody, she asked. Oh, they're all working, said Joey. Everybody's got a job but me. Well, I can fix that, said Mr. Novak. I have two jobs for you. He set a box of plants on the sidewalk. Will you water my plants while I'm on vacation? Sure, said Joey with a grin. Water the ones with blue sticks once a week, explained Mr. Novak. Water the ones with red sticks twice a week. Joey grinned. Blue sticks once a week, red sticks twice a week. I have a job with a plan. Will you look after Scratchy for us too? Mrs. Novak asked. Sure, said Joey. Do I feed him? Yes, every day, said Mrs. Novak. Is that all, asked Joey, no plan? Well, not exactly, said Mrs. Novak. I've got an idea, yelled Joey. He dashed inside and disappeared into his room. When he came out, Mrs. Novak and her husband were, and the Bentons were in the living room. Hey, Mom, Joey yelled, I've got two jobs and two plans. Joey had a calendar and a crayon in his hand. I made a plan for my scratchy job, he said. Every day when I feed him, I'll put a green crayon mark on the calendar. That's my plan. Mrs. Benton smiled. That's fine, she said. And speaking of plans, I just planned a snack. Would you like some strawberry jam with hot biscuits? Joey giggled. I plan on eating about 15 of them, he said, and he ran off to the kitchen. And that is the end.
So Joey finally got a job and it wasn't just a job, it was a job with a plan. So maybe you can think about that and you can come up with a job and make your own plan.